what's going on everybody so we got my daddy's 86 c10 silverado i just dropped this little vortec 350 down in her about a week ago i figured i'd come out here and see if i can get a little bit done i brought me a pen and paper so i can write down some parts and stuff we're gonna need you know header gaskets fuel pump gaskets uh new plugs just a little odd and stuff we're gonna need i figured i'd try to get all that rope down maybe get a little bit of work done on it because this will probably be the last day of uh sunshine we're gonna have for a week or so and actually it's already trying to rain now you can see it's kind of dark over that way and over that way it's, it's nice and shiny above me right now but i don't know how long it's gonna last so i'm gonna probably at least try to get the distributor stuck down in her uh maybe find some fittings to put in there might start putting the rest of the front accessories on but i don't know we'll see what we can get done i mainly just wanted to come out here and uh try to figure out all the parts and stuff we're gonna need way we can go get all that at one one time maybe don't take long to get a motor set down in a truck it's getting it running is what takes most of your time hooking up ground wires and belts and hoses and timing and plugs and the last 10 percent of work takes 90 percent of the time but uh we got our distributor here we'll pull the cap off we'll get her stuck down in there all right so how i like to do this is uh i'll roll the motor over until my exhaust valve opens and closes then the intake valve open and close and then at that point uh the number one cylinder here will be coming up and it'll be on compression stroke and this is a little groove that's cutting the harmonic balancer and there's a little timing tab so what i'll do is i'll roll it over to the exhaust valve opens closes intake valve open and close and then i'll just roll it on over to this line lines up right there and we'll be on number one compression stroke exhaust valve open closing now intake valve and if you put your finger over this and turn it over you'll be able to hear when it's coming up it'll try to blow your finger off when it's coming up on the compression stroke yeah you can hear it now yeah now we're on compression stroke just roll it over all right now, you got that lined up perfectly with that mark so now we're on number one top dead center on the compression stroke now we'll just drop the distributor down in there lot easier to get to the bell housing bolts up here especially these top two or really the top four get them two nice and tight I like to point my rotor button not quite at number one kind of like back at the, at the back of the carburetor that's where I seem to get the most adjustment at. It actually went all the way down. You usually don't go all the way down. You have to roll the motor over a little bit or either <clears throat> you can turn that rod down in there. It's easier just to roll the motor over. She fell in there damn near perfect really. That's about where I like mine pointing at. Because if you point them directly at number one, you won't have much adjustment. Leave it a little bit loose for now. The way we fired up. Turn where we need her to be adjusted at. Got all these wires to go through too. That's for the vacuum on the transmission I 
got a starter. Took me forever to round up some starter bolts. Got an extra there just in case. Got a couple fittings. Block off some of these holes we ain't going to be using. I could connect all these, you know, with lines and have water flowing all the way through it. But uh, I'm just going to use this one right here. Like normal. That'll be good enough. It ain't no race motor. This will be for the temperature gauge. We're going to hook all the factory gauges back up. Oh, man. Thing was in there pretty good. Trying to get this little nut off of the damn starter here. Because if I put it on there now and don't get this off, it's going to be a pain in the ass with it on the truck. It's not wanting to cooperate. I ditched the other starter and I just grabbed the one off. A little 305. I'm going to put it on here. I went ahead and pulled the fuel pump rod out of it. And the little plate too. I mean, I need to clean it up. But uh, I'm just going to stick it on there for now so I know where it's at. Uh, I'm going to clean these torque converter bolts up. Get the rust off of them. Then we're going to jump on there, put them in, and put the starter on. Get a little build up on her. It's a little tight. I'll pull it all back out. Obviously, we've got to put gaskets and all on it, but I'm just going to stick this on here for now so I don't lose it. If I can get the damn bolt. I'm going to get some gaskets. I'll pull it all back off and clean it up real good. Alright, I'm going to try to fight this dang 60 pound monster up in there. We getting there a little bit at a time. Oh, my finger. bit done a few things wrote down i know i'm gonna need didn't get a lot done but a little bit's better than nothing i was gonna stick the headers on there but i'm gonna talk to my daddy see if he wants to try to find some manifolds or what before i go to hacking the exhaust up if he wants to put the headers on it then maybe in the next video i can stick them on here and maybe fire this thing up but uh i reckon that's gonna be it for now i'm gonna close this one off here i got little four-wheeler over there i gotta do some work on so i guess i'm gonna fool with it and i'll see y'all in the next one later